Yeah, how are we doing? A bit warm today, so I'm going to use something with, I think it's got a bit of menthol in it. Uh, I'm using a sample of soap, I've got it in my Licky Mat dog bowl. Uh, I think it's frosted peppermint or ice peppermint. No, it's not, it's spearmint. Frosted spearmint from Master Soap Creations. Uh, Craig Will was good enough to send up some samples. Wiggly spearmint gum. That's, that's a better look at it. You can do that as well. Wrap it in tin foil, keeps the aliens away. Yeah, frosted spearmint. So that's the soap. So master soap creations are South African. I think what I do makes the soap called Fernando. Don't know anything else about them. Uh, I know West Coast Shaving stocked them for a while and they sold out. So if you're in the States they're accessible. Otherwise I think you can get them from Yaki in South Africa. If you just Google Yaki South Africa, there won't be a link below. Go and Google it yourself if you want one. Brush is soaking. It's a it's a Razor Rock 400 handle, which I re knotted with an Umo 24mm badger. Uh, the razor I'm going with a slant razor today. Above the tie S1. Uh, so three piece, non adjustable. There's somebody at the door. Uh, and in there, got a brand new Gillette Red Stainless on its first use. As the blade loaded up, there's a little bit of overhang. You can see in the top cap, there's two nipples, for want of a better word, and there's two holes on the base plate. And they just basically marry it together. So above the tie seems to have fallen out of favour with a lot of people, but they did make a very good razor. So there's the S1 there. I think the blade gap on this is about 0.61 millimetres off the top of my head. Sticking to my towel. Yeah, it's really switching the golf course today. So, hence the menthol. Right, we'll get lathered up. So the live shave, last video I did. There were a few technical hitches, but we're aware of those now. Uh, I now know that I need a second device, or it's ideally, ideal to have a second device running with the video at the same time as I'm doing the live stream so I can see the comments and interact more. So I'm going to do one again next Sunday. Uh, for all the football fans, the England game kicks off at 2, the Netherlands game kicks off at 8 o'clock UK time. So we'll go for Five, half five, six o'clock, something like that. Uh, I'll put a short trailer video out towards the end of the week, akin to the last one, with the details on that uh, of date and time, basically. Uh, got a new tablet, so we've got that side of it resolved and sorted out, technology-wise. Uh, so it'll be a mobile phone, tablet and where, you, where we go. So if you're free, free, come along, have a laugh, hopefully. And uh, I think we might jump aboard a hype train on, on, on the live shave. Yeah, it is. There is menthol in it. And it is really spearmint. Wrigley Spearmint Gum. Remember smelling that as a kid? So I haven't really 
Make the lather in the bowl. I'm just mainly the towel based soap. I have tried one of the samples, Craig sent 12 samples of I think, different scents. More than generous, Craig, thank you very much. However, I'm going to give it a teaspoon of water. Just to get some life into it before we take it to the face. The claps from the dog bowls, I've got one but mine didn't have knobs and I bought that probably a year, two years before the sterling, sterling ones came out or people cottoned onto them but they were dog bowls and I saw this and it fits in the hand really nice and because of the size of it the soap doesn't go everywhere. I've tried it with synthetics and natural hair brushes and uh, the thing just it just produces a good lather and it keeps it all in in one place and it bounces there you go so like some of the porcelain china bowls you can get and that, such as the ones I, have, I already have this one has the other bit of hob. It's not really breakable. I, mean, I think we've got plenty of hydration in this soap already. So if you wonder about the brush, it's one I really knotted myself. I had the place on. Not in it before, which is okay, but I already have the orange handle one with the uh, the black place on. I thought I would uh, re knock this with a badger. It was actually quite easy to get out because I just put it on top of the wood burner stove like that for about half an hour when it was on one day during the winter and the knot just popped out didn't need to drill it with the heat from the stove I think the neighbours at the back having a party because lockdown's been eased so they've got sun's out garden full of people and beer we'll barbecue later I've got uh, we're having chicken, which is presently marinating in honey, lime and mango. And we'll have some couscous, food of the devil. Some uh, baby new potatoes, which I'll make into a potato salad, once I've had this shave. Some coleslaw. And maybe a beer. So that's... Tonight. So, above the tie, S1 slant. It's not really a torque slant, it just holds the blade at an angle. Uh, I think it's the cross handle, I think it is, from above the tie as well. It's the shortest one, anyway. Plenty of slickness from that soap. I'm hoping I don't get a, a strike off YouTube for the uh, audio from the garden over the road. 
don't know what they're playing, but music's pretty crap. I suppose I could have gone into the garden and had it even louder on the video as opposed to just a backing track. Mark has a row up here, my own. Don't know where that one appeared from last night with the leaf. Yeah, Craig sent me a dozen samples of Master Soap Creations up and a Nanny Silly Soap with scent, which would be novelty to use. So I use a couple of these samples on camera. And then the, the rest I'll just use. No use at all with that pass. Right, there's the bowl. I'm going to dump a teaspoon of water into there. Pardon me. And we'll just rehydrate again. shine on that and it's well hydrated. I was going to use a menthol soap this weekend anyway, not cryogen, another one. An Italian one that I've got. The fact that it's got spew in it, it just takes the edge off the menthol, and it's it's not a full-on cold experience. So next week, I'll try and put a video out midweek, no promises. I'll put the trailer video out Thursday or Friday. Whatever day it goes out, it'll go out at the same time as the live video is going to go out. Once I've had a, a play with the covers, I'll change, change the covers around from the last one. But if you're free, I'll be in this bathroom having a shave. Come along and throw some insults. More the merrier. If we get the technology right, I'll even be able to see them this time. I did watch the live video back just to catch up on the comments that were being made at the beginning before Johan came up with the idea of having a tablet running with the, uh, the feed on it so I could see the comments, which is a damn good idea. Thank you very much, Johan. I don't care what people say about you, you have got some uses. There's not that 
that much room for them this actually. It's just you can just feel the edge on it. Salt, it's easy to lather. I'm just making sure I've got all the residue at the bottom of the bowl. It just, it just keeps on giving. Ice latte is one of them. Can't remember the, what the scents are. I've totally had the other ones. That one almost got used, but it's not this. It's like spearmint. Yeah, that's what we're using today. Plenty of lather. Folk has to be very similar tomorrow, just not quite as warm, I think. So, which should be quite nice. It was nice to play shite golf. The only good part of it was, it's got a sun turn out of it. So after this, got to go out and hunt the barbecue in the shed and the charcoal. It's not one of these gas things, it's proper fire. You know what I mean? We're talking me man, make fire, cook meat, sort of syndrome. Not only blokes getting get into. Because at the end of the day, the barbecue is a man's, it's a man's one, isn't it? So women get in and do all the preparation for us and we just storm at the end, take all the glory. But in today's case, I've done all the preparation. Unless my good lady's downstairs putting the potatoes on, in which case we've shared it. So as for normal, this is a pretty decent soap. I've got no problems. So then this stuff's bad, it's not, it's quite, it's really good, it's price as well I think. I'm going to have a quick Google of it. Well, now we're done. See you in a minute. I enjoyed that, that was a lovely shave. Post shave. Right, I'm going to go with this stuff today, which is Alcalado Glacial. I first came across this in Spain a few years ago. Uh, it's not necessarily a post shave balm, it's a benthletted lotion with a good amount of alcohol in it. Not 
expensive. One of them back before in here, couldn't find any. It just wasn't available in the uh, in Tenerife. So that's the stuff there on Collado Glacial. Look at the penguin. It has got a good uh, nip to it. Decent amount of alcohol, as I say. And I'm polishing it off with some Baxter Porsche Balm. There you go. Baxter of California. I think it's not a £3.40 for two tubes on Amazon at the moment. And there's also the facial scrub there as well. So, it's a, it's a bit of a billy bargain for two tubes. There's a bit of menthol in this as well. You don't need a lot and a little goes a fair way. It's pretty good stuff. So there we go, we're done. So, live shave next Sunday. I say I'll put a, a trailer video out closer to the the, the date or the day with uh, the details in it. Of the, it might be five o'clock or six o'clock. Might go for six. Uh, that might allow a few of the people overseas to tune in. We shall see. But that's it folks, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Stay safe, because uh, I think a lot of people are becoming quite lackadaisical at the moment, which is obviously leading to more outbreaks and resurgences of uh, infection. So stay safe, stay well, thanks for watching, bye for now.